Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to InTouch Airsoft, and today we're going to be taking a look at the G700S by Logitech. This is their gaming mouse, uh, and this actually isn't my first crack at one of these mice in the G700 family. This is actually my G700 mouse that I got about two or three years ago that I absolutely love. It's the best mouse I have ever used. It is my gaming mouse. I love it to death. I've used Death Adders. I've used a bunch of other gaming mice. And this is what I keep coming back to all the time. So I decided to get another one for my laptop, actually, because I actually uh, game quite a bit at my friend's houses and stuff on my laptop. So I decided to get a nice gaming mouse for my laptop specifically. I don't know if I'm going to use this one on my desktop and use the older one for my laptop. Really depends how much I like this one. So this is the G700S version. Uh, I don't know if there's any real difference between the two other than that this one is the newer one. So actually I'm going to grab my knife and we'll cut this. So you guys can see the box is a little bit uh, a little bit rough. There's some cuts on the bottom of it. It looks like it took a beating so hopefully everything's okay with it. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out. Uh, looks like the rest of the box is empty. I hope this doesn't like a return or something. So side flaps a little open. Here we go. Alright, cable looks good. Alright, so this is the charging cable. I already have one plugged in, as you can see right here from my old one, and it does look like it uses the same, yeah, exactly the same cable as the original G700. So if you're like me and you're getting this one just because you want another one, then you're good. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, looks like this is a manual and start guide. Uh, I don't know if this is helpful. I've never actually looked at this manual, but if you're watching this video, you probably won't need it because hopefully I'll tell you everything you need to know about it. So we'll put that down, <clears throat> and here's the mouse itself, nice. Seems like it's very well protected. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is a little extender in case the mouse cable they give you is not long enough, so it's just a regular old USB extender. You don't have to worry too much about that, but it's nice that they include one. Uh, I've actually needed one of those. I was about to order one on Amazon not too long ago, and I forgot. Um, but now I have an extra one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's get this useless paper out of the way. And pop this mouse out. There you go. Wow, I like it. Little, little, yeah. Uh, just about the same. If anything, maybe a tad bit heavier than the older one. I'm not sure. It, it, they're very, very, very close. Uh, so close that it, I, I might be wrong. They might be the exact same weight, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead. Sorry, I'm just getting the little USB dongle piece out. I don't know if it uh, uses the same piece as the old one. Here, let me. This is obviously for the battery, so I'm going to pull this out. That should allow me. There you go. See, mouse is on. even comes with a bit of a charge. Now, the cool thing about these mice, what I really like, is they come with these rechargeable batteries. And to recharge them, all you have to do is plug it into this piece. And they've been smart enough to actually incorporate that. When you plug this mouse in, it, it just becomes a regular wired mouse. This cable uh, fits in perfectly with the mouse. It doesn't inhibit the uh, you know movement or anything of the mouse at all um, it feels very natural and then when you take it off after you're fully charged you know it, it feels right as rain it feels exactly the same so I like that that's one of my favorite things about this mouse also you can see it's got the four buttons on the left uh, this is a very righty friendly mouse uh, I'm pretty sure this is made just for righties as far as I can tell uh, all the buttons are very very righty friendly uh, the top part is uh, very smooth, it's got these nice etchings, a uh, little plasticky feel, but it feels it's incredibly smooth on top, so if you like a smooth feeling mouse, you'll like this one. These three buttons on the side, you, these are all programmable, so keep that in mind. Every button on this mouse is completely programmable through the software that they give you with the mouse, which uh, will come along in a little bit. I'll give you guys a look on how it works and show you how to <clears throat> actually launch. When you launch a game, it goes to a specific profile, so stay tuned. Uh, throughout this whole video if you want to see that portion. I have a little annotation from the beginning uh, saying what time you can skip to or maybe I'll just make it so you can click it, whatever. Anyways, back to the mouse. Let's go over the button. So you have this button right here which currently just to uh, right now it looks like it is changing settings. Now this has onboard memory and it has computer memory so if you want to store your different profiles on the mouse you can do that in up to five. If you want to store on the computer you have an unlimited amount as long as you keep coming back to the same computer you'll be fine um, so a uh, button here for as I said the different profiles this button is actually like it has a tactile clip to it it doesn't do anything except lock and unlock the scroll wheel so right now I have it in like speed scrolling mode you can see uh, I don't know if you can see that but it's spinning really fast it's gonna be hard to get it in focus but the wheel is spinning really quickly if I click it it you get that nice 
clicky scroll that everybody's used to. It's nice for reading. If you just want to get to the bottom of a document, you click that button, you scroll, go right to the bottom. Stops really nice. Great feeling scroll wheel. You've got a nice little rubber strip right down the middle. Uh, you got these three buttons on the left, programmable to whatever you want, but I think when you ha you can change your DPI on the fly with these uh, out of the box, that's what it's set up for right now. But again, you can change it to whatever you want. I actually use these as my media keys, and it comes in clutch when I'm listening to like iTunes and stuff. That's the pause, forward, and back. That's just what I do. But I'll show you all this stuff when I get uh, into the uh, software that comes with the mouse. And then you have four buttons on the left. So these buttons are right here and you can program to do whatever you want so in video games you know crouch prone reload whatever you want I play a lot of first person shooters and these come in really really clutch um, and that's pretty much it on all the buttons of course you can click the scroll wheel side to side also uh, and again you can program everything so that's pretty much it for the physical tour it feels really great it's got nice foam uh, pads on the bottom that make it glide really nice and the batteries are rechargeable uses a gaming laser I don't know what lasers in here uh, but from if it's anything like this one, it's very, very accurate, it's very, very responsive. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my PC and I'm going to give you guys a, a little run through through the, uh, the software that actually comes with this mouse so that you guys can get a better feel for the things you can do with it and uh, set it up really any way you want. So, let's get to that. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you guys uh, your way around uh, the software that comes with this mouse. Alright guys, so what you, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Logitech, is Google Logitech mouse gaming software, G700S or G700, is up to whichever one you guys bought, so then you click the first link, it'll bring you to this page, hopefully, uh, then you click the support button, wait for it to load, once you get to support, then you just scroll down and you can see your mouse right here, uh, G700, G700S respectively, whichever one you have, and then you scroll down a little bit and you can see Logitech gaming software, and then you have the choice between 32-bit and 64-bit, so I'm using 64-bit, so I'd hit 64-bit and I'd hit download. Now, I've already got this downloaded. I already have the program. I've had this mouse for a while, so I'm not going to download it again. Just wait for the download uh, to, to finish up, and you can just pause the video now, download it, and then come back when it's downloaded and installed. Alright, so uh, just at the beginning, I installed mine uh, in its default area, so wherever it decided to download uh, on default on my C drive is where my files are. So, once you have it downloaded, you should see your mouse right here. Um, if you have two mice, th I'm currently using my older one, my G700, uh, just because the G700S dongle uh, isn't plugged into my computer, so I'm just going to use my G700 now. So this is the part where you get to choose between if you want to use the onboard memory on your mouse or the memory on the computer to store your profiles. So I have mine, as you can see, going to the computer. You can switch back and forth really easily. All you have to do is click which one you want. So now it's using what is on my mouse. This is good if you want to take your uh, mouse to LAN parties and go on other people's machines. At least you'll still have your profile. So you get like five um, profiles to store on your mouse that you can take with you wherever you go. But since my mouse never leaves my room or is never on any one of my computers, um, I'm going to go ahead and just save it on to my computer. So down here you can see you have your mouse, you have the Logitech logo, uh, it tells you you're charging, yada yada. Uh, here you have your settings for the actual uh, Logitech gaming software. Um, and then you have these five tabs on top. You have general, notifications, G700, profiles, um, and this is just what it starts up with, which is the default profile for me. Uh, and all that other kind of stuff, and ARX controls, yada yada yada. Uh, run this program with Windows Start. I suggest doing this so you don't have to run it every time you sign into Windows. Um, so just hit OK there. Uh, next to it, I'm not exactly sure what this is actually. Uh, this is just social media stuff and then help. Alright, so that's that. Now let's get to the part uh, that you guys are going to need help with to get your mouse all set up for you. So here you can see I have my four profiles. I have a Fallout, a Call of Duty, and Battlefield. Uh, I use this for Battlefield 3 and 4 and Hardline. I use this for all, all the Call of Duties I have a profile for have my default profile and then I newly made this fallout profile so what you want to do if you want to make a profile you come over here to this plus and you hit create new profile and for now we'll just call this test and this is a test <coughs> and this is pretty cool so this box right here uh, is the profile open on box so you can think of this as any profiles that you make and you want it to open when a game starts this is where this gets done so you hit the plus button and you would go to as you can see I have drives games, origin, battlefield hardline, 
Okay, so this is the opener for Battlefield Hardline. I would click this, and now that I click this, you can see the executable right there. Every time this executable opens, um, this profile will start up. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have a Battlefield profile, but that's how you uh, do that. It's really, really helpful, and it saves a lot of time. You don't have to go into the uh, software to change your profile every time you launch a new game. So that's like one of my favorite features about the mouse. So let's just go to my default profile. This is for when I'm just on the desktop, you know, surfing the internet, nothing crazy. Um, I have next track, play pause, and pause track. This is the left uh, buttons by your uh, index finger. Uh, so as I said, they're all programmable. So the whenever you click any button on this mouse, this window will come up. And these are all the choices you have uh, categorized. Um, for what you can have that button do. So as you can see, you, you can put something here in the... Uh, actually, I'll show you this in a second. Um, right now, for this one, I think I had... They have dedicated media keys, so this is really easy. So next track is what uh, this button's set up. Now, obviously, you can click whichever one you want, but um, these four right here are the really good ones, the ones that um, I use most often. So this is my desktop one. This one just closes everything out so that I just see the desktop. So right now, if I click... Uh, all I have is desktop, and if I click again, uh, it all comes back, and that's this button right here. It's my copy, paste, and back. Now these can be whatever you want, so it changes. See if you if I click my Call of Duty profile. Now this is the crouch, and I'll go in here, and this is the keystroke. This is what most people are going to use for setting gaming functions. So C when you're playing uh, Call of Duty, if you don't know, is crouch. So I put C there. What you do that is you click in the box, um, and you c once you're clicked in the box, and you see your little cursor flashing like that, you click whatever letter you want to be in that box. So you can see I can change it to any letter on the keyboard, but mine's C. And uh, if you're not happy, somehow you messed it up, you can hit clear and it'll clear it out and then you can pick your key. This is the name. Uh, j this will just show up right over here. It'll just be the name of uh, the key. I just like to name mine whatever they are. So this one's crouch. Um, and then repeat options, uh, pretty self-explanatory if you want it to repeat the longer you hold it or anything, that's where you would send that up. So, uh, let's get out of here. So that's pretty much all the button stuff. Again, all of these are programmable, every single one. Even the sides of the mouse click, if you want to do something special for there, um, you could definitely do that. Uh, so let's now go into the DPI settings. So this is DPI per profile. Now you have to enable this by, I think if you go back here, uh, Okay, so this is it right here. It says enable per profile pointer settings. So once you click this, this will open up. It'll have all your profiles up here. So you can see my DPI is different from my desktop than it is in like Call of Duty or Battlefield. And it's from 200 to 5700. And I always have all of them on Max Gaming. That way it's like pulling as much as possible. Uh, the pulling rate you can see is, uh, you can set from 125 to 1000. So a thousand, every thousands of a second, it pulls again. So that's the most responsive, pretty much, uh, pulling rate you can get. So that's pretty much it. You just set it up to whatever you want, and uh, every time you open up a game, these profiles are open. <coughs> um, so that's pretty much it. That That's th all the software that comes with the mouse, but it's super helpful, and that's probably the reason I like this mouse so much. So if you guys like the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next video.